Welcome to Mudding with Beegs. This is episode 31. In the news this week, see-through vehicles, the next big thing in the slippery slope. Also in the news, the revenuers find evidence of the mud flood. I mean, moonshine still. I hate to report it, but old Fred had to be towed away. He got worked, worked, worked. And as you know, Fred is the horse that built America. Beagle, roll them credits. Let's go mud. What is it? Is it treasure map? And we got the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco. And this is in 1906. Amid the ruins of the earthquake and fire, a.k.a. Dew Attack. The hotel near completion when disaster struck opens the following year. So they didn't fully destroy this one. And let's see what we can get into here. A lot of very clean people. Well dressed. I guess we got building materials here. Seems how they say they were building this. So it makes sense that we build on an angle like this. Interesting how they have this covered up here. That looks very mud floody right there. Hard to see what's going on right here. But that just don't look right right there. Looks like it's been un it's, it's unfacaded. Wow, look at those arches. That's incredible. beautiful wow look at those columns that equals the that's a representation of the Taurus field right there on that column wow look at that Venetian shells see that looks like smoke damage there but then it, it kind of doesn't look like fire's been up in there that's odd Kind of a portal looking thing there. That's how that, that electrical line is snapped from the heat. Those those uh, do weapons, they, they produce tremendous amounts of heat. That's why you had people jumping out the buildings on 9-11. Um, because they were doing the... Uh, the... Uh, towers and uh the the building was heating up and if you listen to the phone calls um you'll hear people talking about how they were they were really hot they were burning up um and that's why people were standing um and these people are well above the fire if there was a fire <laughs> um but they uh were they were really hot and they were they were wetting themselves down and they were uh standing outside the in the outside the windows because they were so hot and th this is because the building was heating up the metal was heating up in the building from the do attack because they were getting ready to drop the building and that's what they do bowler hat fellas see this is a third rail system here so that the trolley has a piece that attaches under into the ground here and it it's pulled up via a cable system which is incredible. It looks like boss man right there. Man. Very interesting. A lot of mud there. That looks like it could go down in the ground right there. All right, moving on. Let's see. Okay, I've got uh, three shots of this this uh, mansion here this is 1938 uh, Iberville Parish Louisiana Bell Grove vicinity of White Castle it's a Greek revival mansion of 75 rooms built in 1870 uh, 1857 quote unquote burned down in 1952 not in quotes those are my quotes we didn't build this Yep, got some mud floody windows, archy darchies, 
Winders. Look at them columns. Good gracious. Looks like a, a Phoenician shell there. This is a nice house. I mean, like, seriously? Who builds like this? In 1857. I mean, I need to stress that because, I mean, yeah, people, you know, do some assholey building today. Yes, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt at all. But I'm not talking about, you know, in 2021. I'm talking about in 1857 horse and cart years, you know, where everybody's running around horse and cart. And we have a brick house. See, it's facaded and that's brick. So everything you see there is brick. So... We're going to need to add that to the brick list where we add up all the bricks because we need to know all the bricks that built this world. And uh, Mr. Contractor is going to give us a quote on how those bricks got made. See, there's some more brick up on the chimney. All right. And this is a different picture from the front. Somebody scratched a swastika in there. This is 1938, built by An John Andrews, Phoenician Wave, people doing graffiti on this thing. Very interesting. I'm sorry, de de decaying buildings are very interesting to me. Uh, brick, see that right there? So this is a brick building. And uh, this is the back. And more brick here. This thing is just sick, man. This is somebody's house. That brick is what, three layers thick or two? I can't tell. Three, I think. That is thick brick work. Looks like that fell down. Got a hole there. That's odd. Okay, um, as always, the pictures will be in the description, and I hope the audio is a little bit better this week. Um, I uh, noticed for the first time that my audio was very low when I did the uh, chat with uh, Mr. Levy, if y'all know who he is, Arclight. This is in Albany, New York, 1906, New Kenmore Hotel. Familiar street fixtures of the era include carbon arc lamp, that's that, uh, telephone distribution ring, and streetcar pylons. Uh, telephone distribution ring is this sucker right here. And these are a real common sight in the old photographs I have noticed. But uh, anyways, I noticed my audio was very low, and, and I never noticed it um, before. Um, because his was so much louder. Anyways, I went looking into it, and for some reason, my audio, my microphone was set to half, 50% volume. And it's been like that ever since I started using it. So, at their antenna. So, anyways, I hope the audio is better now. Um, so, live and learn. YMCA, which I believe is a designation, uh, and so they, um, all these, it's just a, a building designation. That's a Moorish building right there. See that turret style there? Look at that antiquity things. Looks like something was removed out of here. And they had this horse shit light. I mean, does that look right? Jeez. We pro we would have added this chimney here. So we're going to put a the, this ugly ass chimney. We've we got this beautiful chimney. And then we got this ugly ass chimney. Look at that antenna right there. Antiquitech antenna. Man, oh man. 
I mean, why would you do that? You you can do this kind of brickwork, but this is the kind of lighting that you're going to provide? Seriously? Look at that antenna. Boy, that's sucking up some ether right there. Got ether fencing up here. Phoenician shell. Some kind of design in that. I can't see it too good. Huh. Very interesting. Keystones. Wow, look at that wrought iron work. That's pretty. A glass awning. You know we did that. Look how the stairs are at an angle here. How that how they're going the, the sidewalk's going down. Look how that sidewalk's going down there. These could be ventilations into the underground right there. Check out those posts right there's a cool woman in uniform. That's boss man right there. Man. Pyramid. Looks like a circumpunct. There's a clock. Clocks are expensive. I see these things quite often. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Like, yeah, I don't know. Could be something for the telephone or the electric or even trolley system. I'm not sure. Hard to say. Another arc light there. Okay, let's move on. Atlantic City, New Jersey, sand modeling between 1890 and 1910. Creepy something, another kid or and or sort of monster coming out of sand. I don't know. And there's another one, sand monster. And we got an elephant. He's so cute. And I thought this was interesting. We got a lion eating a snake. Which is just an odd thing to me that somebody would create that in the sand in that time frame. And, uh, you know, what does that represent? And then it, right below here they wrote domestic troubles. So that's odd. And then there is uh, this that says, it's this guy... I don't know who that is. It says there is H Hope. I think it says there is hope. I'm guessing it's some sort of religious person. I don't know. I just thought it was a weird picture. Anyways, moving on. Augusta, Georgia, 1903. Georgia Railroad Bank, 7th and Broadway Streets. Augusta, Georgia needs a bank that looks like that. Seriously? He's, he's nailing his 99 thesis to this building saying, this is my 99 reasons I believe that this building is mud flooded. He's calling them out. Look at the size of those doors. Brick, brick, brick. Scrub cartouche. Phoenician shelly things. Big old dome. What a building. Look at those tauruses. Phoenician wave. Eight point asterisk right there. Uh, your flat bar here represents the flat earth the vertical represents north and south magnetic poles and the x would represent the torus there's a scrub something or another georgia railroad bank so we bang that in there Got a, a little opening here to the underground, possibly a, a mud flood window down there, and here, and here, and here, and by possible I mean more than probable. 
seeing as how we live in a mud flood world. And there's Fred. Fred's on the job. Fred, if you don't know, Fred is the horse that built America. So now that you know, oh my goodness, they forgot to villain the sky this one. Birmingham, Alabama, 1906. This is the Birmingham Post Office because the Pony Express needs a big ass Tartarian building to deliver the freaking mail to. I'm just saying. There is Fred. Fred is also on the job here. He teleports to each position of the earth and gets all these buildings done. And we have little windows that are down on ground level very suspicious if not mud flood evidence and boss man is right there got some arched windows big old arch doorway we would have modified this right here you see that box coming out of there that's a modification there's a dog that's a rarity to see in this age that's a coal hole cover right there. This fell CIA. <laughs> These people's waiting in line at the post office. Look at that brickwork, man. Good grief. This is just not needed at all. I mean, seriously. Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. This is 1906, Ether Antenna. I mean, just, they don't need this. See this modified door? They've built this, this door within a door in order to make the door smaller and also trap the, the heat and the, you know, not the cooling. They didn't have cooling, but they had, you know, wood stoves and stuff they were using, possibly radiator stoves. Schindler Saloon. Old musty something. Ale maybe? Yeah, that's what it is. Ale. Looks like an owl right there. Hard to tell. Southern Bell. Huh. Okay. see what we got up here wow that looks like a green man right there and there wow that's very moorish looking clock clocks are expensive pyramid design another ether antenna and this would probably be a wind catching system right here your input here and this is probably the output um, and over here, but the wind would come in here and it would move throughout the building. I believe that's very possible that that is a wind catching system. So look in the wind catchers. And I have uh, two pictures in this series of pictures. This is Brooklyn, New York, 1906, the Williamsburg Bridge Plaza. And I've got a picture of two different angles of this. I'm going to show you. Boss man. Da, 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 boss man. Anyways, uh, da, 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 let's see what we can find. And there's Fred right there. He is the horse that built America, in case you didn't know. And they got the bridge going up here. Got it fogged out so you can't see. That's interesting. There's one of those ball thingies I keep finding. I don't see one on that side. Look at this freaking thing. It's like the Pantheon. Jeez. Looks like they're refaciding it or something. They certainly ain't building it. We don't build like that. On the adjoining property, Williamsburg Trust Company will erect its main building. What an odd sign. 
novelty theater look at these steps going up to the next floor so those are mud flutters boys and girls and yeah, look at the mud floody windows right there I mean look at that thing what I mean, seriously what are they calling it they're calling this one a church so that's supposed to be a church look at that little tiny sap sucker right there compared to that big ass thing right there I mean seriously he gonna build that look at them mud flutters right there mud floody right there mm. mud flutter need to write a song mud flutters something like that and here's the other angle and let's see what we got here not the is it it's high resolution but it's uh not the clearest in the world i don't think smokestacks were smokestacks it's been said they could be water towers it's possible that's pretty good theory Ladies, misses, children's, and men's fine Turkish bath. Boy, they love Turkish baths back then. What's up with the Turkish baths? What the heck is this thing? That thing's huge. Big old copla. That could be a wind catching system right there. There's one of them ball thingies. I said this is a this is so this would have been to the left of the picture we just showed arc light okay moving on Jared boosters put out a video a week or two ago and he was asking uh, or talking about uh, ice castles and he said uh, people send him the pictures uh, so he could see them and uh, I sent him a link uh, to the pictures that I have I don't have a whole lot but uh anyways I don't think he got it because uh, YouTube a lot of times they won't post things when you when you link um, anyways YouTube sucks ass so uh, I'm gonna show you what I got um, so Jared if you're out there uh, here's your ice castle pictures you asked for uh, this is Ice Castle of Glittering Ice, Montreal's Mid-Winter Carnival, Canada, 1909. And I guess this was a, a thing these folks were into about building ice castles. And, you know, I, I don't know. There's, there's Fred. Fred, you know, probably built this even though he normally brings in all the heavy brick. He can also haul ice because Fred is the horse that built ice castles in America. And, um, you know, this is Ice Castle in Montreal, Winter Carnival, 1887. So this is a, like a postcard, I guess. I mean, it's just weird that people in this day and age would, uh, build stuff like this I mean it just seems so um, pointless rich people ice palace Leadville Colorado 1896 uh, da, da, da. interesting okay I mean, this thing's huge. I think it's interesting how they put ether antennas on top of it. I mean, this thing is no joke. I mean, I just, it's really hard to believe that they would build stuff like this. They're quite amazing for, I mean, this time is just incredible and this is some sort of uh, best I could figure to shoot fireworks at each other and you can see the ice castle in the background and and it's labeled a uh, no this wouldn't it I've got several of these mid this is the mid winter carnival storming the fortress yeah storming the fortress upper 
Sarnak Lake, New York in 1909. Uh, so you can see the eye castle in the back. It's all lit up, so it's got power, which is interesting. But it's, it's, they're shooting, there's people there. You can't see them in this photograph. There's, you can look at these uh, photographs will be in the, see, see, you can see the people here. It's like they're shooting fireworks at each other. I mean, this is just pure crazy talk. But anyways, they're, they're, these these people have built ice castles. I don't know. It's just very odd. So many odd things back then. Oh, this reminds me of those pictures of Tesla where he's sitting in a chair and the electricity's flying all over the place. And, it, the, you know, also, I mean, what the hell is that? This reminds me of uh, some of those old pictures Martin uh, showed about... Um, like the ether uh, coming out, being shot out from things. Very reminiscent of that. Anyways, very strange, strange thing. Y'all can go, you know, looking at these. I don't know. They're, uh, they're an odd thing. I don't know. Winter Carnival... St. Paul Ice Palace, 1887. Got a Tartarian lion sitting there. Who's this dude? What is he getting? A marshmallow on a stick? <laughs> and look at these big ass buildings in the background. These huge statues right here. I mean, that's a full on freaking medieval castle. What they got going here? I mean, look at these. Look at this person. I mean, don't that look like a Tartarian person right there? And look at this dude. What are these bears? Look how big the doors are. That's just very interesting. All right. There you go, Jared. Have at it. And we got Buffalo, New York. This is 1910. This is the post office on Elcott, Ellie, Ellicott Street. I hope I'm saying that right. And this thing is huge because the Pony Express Pony needs something that big. Look at the detail there. I mean, how unnecessary is that? I mean, that represents the Taurus, but I mean, seriously, in this time, you would that represents the flat earth asterisk right there. It's a half of a flat earth asterisk. So if you double that on the bottom, it as above, so below. That's interesting, right there. Arched winders. Look at the detail on that. Look, I mean, just that work. That's just amazing right there interesting look at that ornateness on the water tower there okay well, I'll well start up here I mean that looks like a freaking cathedral right there that's amazing I believe this is going to be a wind catcher here Got a eagles, and eagles represent a phoenix. Kind of looks like a Florida Lee right there. Some kind of antiquitech. Eagle right there. Another phoenix. Got mud hole, mud flood holes right there. Mud flood winders. There's Fred. Fred is the horse that built 
America. In case you didn't know, they had to haul all this in via horse and cart because they had mud flood winders and they decided to build their buildings below ground via the official story, which is basically horseshit. So anyways, we got mud flood right there, big old arches, incredible. This is a freaking post office where you drop your mail. I mean, this could have just easily been a church. Why not? I mean, I, heck, you go worship something there. Hell. Damn, what, I mean, they're, they're worshiping postage stamps. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's a post office. Seriously. Y'all people crazy think we believe this. Cambridge, Massachusetts, 1913, Riverbank Court from Harvard Bridge. All right. Look at these old cars. Look at that one. That's cool. That's a cool trolley. Winter's on the ground. Got mud covering them up here. And I believe these are called, someone told me these are called uh, coins, spelled with a Q, something like that. But anyways, uh, I believe that these are a technology and it had to do with, you know, the bricks being the batteries. And if you don't understand that, look into bricks as batteries. Um, so they would have stored the energy from the ether antennas, which would have been on top, you know, these doodads. And they would have stored the energy in the bricks. But I think these pieces here on the sides, I believe they had something to do with the transference of the energy. That's just me thinking at this point. Interesting. It's like a diamond symbology, more diamond symbology. It's a very, it's a simpler building, but it's a very interesting building. If you really look at it, most time we'd look at something like this and we think, oh, there's a clock. Clocks are expensive. So that's sort of an ether antenna there. So this one, this one doesn't have a clock. That's weird. So that one has a clock and that one doesn't. That's strange. I wonder why they did that. They're obviously identical. And the Tartarians were famous for their symmetry. So it makes me wonder if they changed something there. Carmel Tower. Glenwood Mission Inn. Riverside, California. Between 1900 and 1920. I just thought this was uh, interesting how these, it's like they, I don't know, it, you know what this looks like to me? This thing looks 3D printed to me. Look how it's got layer, 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 like, like a, a, like they do today with the 3D printing machines that, that print houses, if you've seen that. Across the Lorraine, maybe. Okay, we're so we're taking over a native person here, poor fella, old Tartarian fella, or more, or whatever, old world person, I should say. Don't want anybody to get their britches in a bunch. There's a that that I think is a a wind catching system there. I do believe. So it changes the texture. It's like a more of a stuccoed finish up here. But that right there reminds me of 3D printing. Winders on the ground. 
there's Fred right there he's back here that's Fred's girlfriend but Fred is back here working she's just running around town she probably shopping for a new set of horseshoes just saying Cincinnati 1910 Chester Park toboggan slide on the lake and one thing I'm more and more amazed is the rides and the attractions that these people had in this time they were just incredible I mean look at that I mean how many ways could you get hurt on that I could think of a few hundred <laughs> I mean boys will be boys if there's a way to get hurt a boy's gonna figure it out they got a they're actually riding toboggans I, I, I thought that was kind of a a joke they're actually riding toboggan sleds down this thing man I bet that's fun and man I bet they got hurt <laughs> oh man Wow we got a drowning victim here. He's like, oh crap, we got to fish one out. Oh man. And these guys just walking on the bottom. Look at this big old thing back here. That's odd looking. Ether antennas back there. I wonder what this thing is here. I wonder what these lines are here. Walk between poles, bridge three feet underwater. So they built a bridge under the water. Okay, that's odd. And then you got this odd thing out here. What is that supposed to be representing? There's those weird balls. I don't know, just some weird, high weirdness. Cincinnati, Ohio, 1905, Government Square. Because the government needs a big-ass building to do their government. And, then, and there's Fred. Fred is the horse, say it with me, that built America. And he's always on the job. And it's coal hole cover. It's a coal hole cover. That's an arc light. That's pavement light right there. In case you don't know what that is, pavement light is glass sidewalks. And this whole sidewalk right here would be hollow underneath, and it is called a vault under there. And that vault is hollow. And they would drop in the coal into the here. And this is all cover up for the mud flood right here. This is the new mud flood level when the mud was raised and then they would have made this vault. They would have dug this out and made the vault here. And then they would have put down the pavement light so you could use the rooms that had gotten mud flooded. Stained glass fly screens. Lamps. Oh wow, look at that big gun right there. That's cool. Well, but that sign would be really valuable now. Looks like an eagle. If it is an eagle, it would be a uh, representation of the phoenix. New York life. Okay. Look at that big ass clock. Check out this tower up here. This this deck up here on this tower. Look at those arches, man. Check out that fountain. Good grief. I believe they were part of the technology system. There's Fred's cousins. They're coming in for a little bit of backup. Fred, Fred, Fred has a lot of work to do. There's enough to go around. Look what they got here. They got this debris in the road. I wonder what they're doing. I wonder what he's doing. What are you doing, mister? We're on to you. We're investigating you. 
and what he's doing. I'm just being nosy. Got more pavement light right there. And these fellas is watching. There's boss man. These fellas is watching. I believe that's pavement light all in front of that. It's hard to tell. Got arc light. I mean, man, it's a big picture. A lot of folks hanging around. Of course, this is the seat of government. So I guess, man, look at all the columns, freaking ridiculous, the size of those doors compared to that little dude, why would you build doors that big? That's a flat earth asterisk right there. Right there. Got antiquity things there. Ether antenna. Some fancy design on a pyramid. Got portholes. Ooh, look at that evil looking dude. Ah, might be a phoenix. I don't know. More at more eight point asterisks, I believe, right there. At big old ether fencing right there. Man, look at the detail. God, that's incredible. That is just incredible. All right. This is 1904 City Hall, Syracuse, New York, an electric. Welcome to the Salt City. Okay. I don't know what that means. Oh, it might be talking about the the arc lights as you come out. I don't know. That's boss man hidden work. I don't know. There's Fred. Fred is the horse that built guess where? America. Got a trap door to the underground right here. These would open up and go into the vaults. So it is hollow under that sidewalk. Which is evidence for the mud flood. In case you want, you know, evidence for mud flood. Anybody here like mud flood? Mud flood related topics. Basically every topic is a mud flood related topic. So. And let's see. Wow, that's just wow. I'd like to see a blueprint of that right there. <laughs> God, that's incredible. Ah, uh, okay. You welcome. Bid you welcome. Something bid you welcome. Uh, okay. Syracuse, bid you welcome. Oh, okay. So it lights up. Oh, okay. I get it now. All right. That's a very Moorish looking building. That is beautiful. B E A U T full. Man, that's just incredible work. There's a wind catching system there. I does believe that's our antenna up there. So the air would come in here and transfer throughout the building. Look in the wind catchers, it's very interesting. Sun I O O F International Order of Odd Fellows. That is a secret organization, and they are um, very much in line with the Freemasons. So th I believe this is another organization that that was involved in the cover up of the mud flood and mud flood evidence. See how they got that window bricked up that's interesting how's that building supposed to be and they already have it bricked up suspect i do believe suspect it's pretty light 
1905, City Hall, Cleveland, Ohio. In case you like Cleveland. And Fred is on the job getting it done. We got a tiny little dog. Woman in uniform. Look at all these scrubbed cartouches there. Got lions representing the old world, Tartaria. Look at the scale of that building compared to that little midget looking dude right there. Cleveland is like seriously a cool city. I've 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 got a I pulled, uh, I doubt anybody even noticed, but I pulled my Cleveland video off YouTube last week, along with, I don't know, 20 other videos or so. Um, just so you know, if anybody cares, I, uh, got two copy strikes and a copyright, uh, takedown request all in one week last week. So, I am on two copy strikes and one more and it kills the channel. So, I am on probation until December. So, I had to be proactive and kill out around 20 videos. I'm going to put them up on, they're already, they're already up on Odyssey, but uh, on my Odyssey channel stuff, Beagle. And I'm going to put them up on BitChute as well. Uh, a few of them I might redo, um, but mainly they're coming down. Tartarian line, porthole, uh, pyramid, symbology. But uh, so just so you know, some of the videos have come down. And like my Cleveland video, um, I don't think anybody ever really got it. Uh, it was a, a video I did. Uh, for Christmas time and it was this this picture has been vanilla skied by the way in case you care about vanilla skying where they scratch out the background um, this one's actually well done but this is a vanilla skied photograph I can't I'm just looking for see if I could find any real telltale evidence but definitely vanilla skied like that's a little weird right there, or maybe right there, but it's definitely Vanilla Sky. But anyways, um, the, the videos aren't aren't destroyed. I, I still have them. Um, God, look at that, Mr. Contract. Give me a bit on that right there. Give me a bit on just that photograph right there, please. Have that on my desk by tomorrow. Thank you. Since how you can do everything, I would like a quote on that with blueprints. And detail specifications as to how you're going to obtain the materials in the time allotted along with using horse carts and no power. So yes, if you could get that, that'd be great. Yeah, great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Look at the size of this world compared to these little tiny midget little people. There's Wilbur's. That's, that's, that's Wilbur right there, the black one, and the white one is Fred's girlfriend, and she's over there talking to Wilbur. I think they had a little something going on, but we won't tell Fred. I don't think we should. But uh, anyways, uh, the problem with the videos boils down to, um, it's the uh, colorized old films are the problem. Not the music. I have copyright on every piece. Almost 95% of my videos. It's the colorized films. Old films. And what the problem is. These films are out of copyright. Because they were filmed back in early 1900s. So their copyright is expired. The problem is. You got these assholes. Who have channels on YouTube. And what they do is. They go and, and they take these films off the archive sites for free and then they use artificial intelligence on their computer to colorize and stabilize the films 
and then they'll add music and stuff like this the problem is that even though these films are out of copyright what they're doing is when I use their the films that they have colorized that I grab off YouTube and I put them up there YouTube then sends them a, um, well sometimes they send, send them a thing saying that I used it but a lot of times what it is they find my film and then they send a copyright takedown notice and YouTube doesn't care they just they don't they don't look into it and it's hard to fight them so basically these people these colorizers are saying because they've taken a copyright film and then colorized it using AI that now they own the effing copyright to a non copyrighted film so basically what you're saying is that you can take somebody else's work that you didn't do, that you weren't even alive for, and you're taking the films, you're putting a little freaking color, which is not perfect, onto these films, and then you're claiming it as your own. And that is horseshit. Copyright is for losers, okay? Once it's in the ether, it's in the ether. It ain't coming out, okay? I've got these films all over the effing world right now. You ain't getting them back. You hear me? It ain't happening. Good luck. I've taken them on YouTube, but they're in the ether. They're out there. You ain't getting them back. It ain't happening. Oh, and who's to say that I can't... Oh, by the way, I've gone and looked and found where you're getting these films from. It's multiple channels. I've, I've found where all these guys are getting these films from. Who's to say I can't go get these films, okay? And then colorize them myself, okay? And then put them on YouTube, okay? And then when you try to do it, I claim copyright on you. How you like them apples? You want some of that? Yeah, I got something for you. 1905 motor car, Canadian government colonization company. I just thought this thing was just weird. Free 160 acres, Western Canada farmlands. So this is some kind of crazy ass electric car truck thing. I don't know. Great. Just a weird, weird thing. Look at this dude. I mean, he is just tripping me out I mean look at all this gear man what are you hauling I don't know that just thing is just weird to me circa 1910 Brooklyn Navy Yard dry dock number four battleship is unidentified and uh, anyways uh, going back to my little rant um, I'm gonna um, take the channel in a little bit of a different direction for a while and I uh, try to cool my jets um, and uh, the, the music video thing will be a little bit uh, on the side burner um, I might do some here and there but I'm gonna try to focus on some different things for a while um, in order to uh, cool my jets and, and uh, get these strikes down um, and try not to lose the channel because if I lose the channel then I got to get a new IP which means a new laptop so there's there is you know that's not fun so um, let's try to <laughs> move forward out destroying the channel um, but there's no guarantees and if if I if I do lose it you know that's okay uh, life does go on so you know we're like us mud flutters are like shark teeth and uh you know if you take one out one will pop up in its place so no worries akuna matata check out that thing what is that thing drawing in smokestack thing no smokestack arched windows absolutely ridiculous to build arched windows on a building like this in that time frame absolutely ridiculous i mean look at the construction of this dock that thing is seriously serious it's got a track that runs around it there's Fred back there getting the he builds ships too 
He's the horse to build America. I mean, what would you expect? Any less? I don't think so. But anyways, this is this is just cool to me. I don't know. Big old cannons. I mean, and these things are just cool. This was actually a ship design. I forget what these are called, but this this is an actual ship design back then. How weird's that? Very weird. I mean, it just reminds like it's it, it almost reminds me of of, a, of an ether antenna on top of a ship, but I don't know. There's a crane that runs around it. Pretty cool how they built that. Anyways. This is the uh, this is 1912 Steamer City of Detroit 3. I think it was also called the D3. I've shown pictures of this before, I believe. Grand Salon looking forward. This is inside of a ship. I mean, just the the, the decadence of, of I mean, look at that rams on the freaking lights. I mean, just the ornateness of this thing is just incredible. Incredible. 1912. Who in the heck can fund this thing to be built? I mean, how much money do you think you're actually going to make on building a ship like this? Seriously. Uh, this is a cathedral. Look, look at that. You got nudie people. You got homage to Fred. Some sort of fishtail thingy. I don't even know. A Phoenician business going on. I don't even know. I don't even know where to look. I mean, this is just absolutely cherub type doodads. Absolutely incredible. Electric lights. I mean, what in the world kind of thing? I mean, that's that's straight up just what in the world? I mean, I don't even think the Titanic had this. I don't think it was nearly as ordinate as this. Well, what do I know? Oh, hell, I don't know. Coney Island, New York, 1905, Dreamland Ballroom. And I can't remember who was asking. It might have been, mm, could be a Sub Rosa right there. I'm not sure. Can't remember who, uh, Unscrubbed Cartouche right there. Might have a DL on it. For Dreamland, um, I think somebody was asking about uh, a while back. I can't remember who's asking, but they were looking for pictures of ballroom, uh, the dances where they had uh, how they were lighting the dances, and they couldn't ever find anything. And this just made me think of that. Um, might have been UAP. It's either UAP or or Martin. For some reason, I think it was UAP. I don't know. And it just makes me wonder, you know, uh, like a shell type bandstand there. Um, just makes me wonder, you know, did they have electric light for the ballrooms? And this is Detroit 1912 Pringle Furniture Company, Great, Great Yacht Avenue probably butchering that <gasps> anywho uh, nice brickwork there I bet you they modified these windows they blocked in that that window there I bet you nickel that these looked like this one see how it's got the arch there just my thinking Got arches there, like a Taurus-looking field there. 
Keystone was a sign, okay. Yeah. Bullseye payment lights there. These are some of the originals. They were not very well made. These are the ones that the ladies' heels would bust through. Coho cover. And that's a rarity to have the coho cover with the pavement light inside of it. So that's a rare. And that even, it's hard to tell, that could even be one. They had some that had a very big piece of pavement light in it. Um, and those were very rare because they were very easy to knock out and break. So they got rid of those real quick. Um, there's another one. Coho cover. There's pavement light. And this is a little bit later pavement light. But this is still that's ventilation into the underground there. This hard to tell this could be pavement light here I there there were pavement lights that went up into the storefronts like that so that was something that was done um, Venetian shells very ornate right there very ornate there too on those pieces Coming off there, that's that's interesting. Boss man, pyramid symbology, Grand Union Tea Company. That's a weird symbol. Interesting. So anyways, that's that. Detroit, Michigan, 1912, Detroit Post Office. Does that, man, does that look like the building we looked at earlier? I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it didn't. I don't know, this is a different angle, I know that. I can't remember. Is that Detroit? I think this is the same building. I don't know. I don't remember these being on there. It looks like a like a panther or something coming out of there. I don't know what that is. Clock clocks are expensive. I believe this is a wind catch catchment catching system where they could get the air down into the building that would have been the air conditioning, hot and cold. Eagle, Eagle represents the Phoenix. Mud Flood Winders. There's Fred. Fred's on the job. There's the horse poo cart. Gets all the horse poo for people that like the horse. Some people just like to chase the horse poo cart guy or something. Coho cover, coho cover. This is interesting how they have this big arch here. I don't know if this is the same building or not. I can't tell. I don't remember these steps being on the other one. You know what? I have to. Oh man, I have to, I almost have to go back and look at it. Look at that big ass arch underneath. God almighty. That is. That arch is bigger. Look at how big these damn arches are, right? Look how big that damn arch is right there. And then look how big that arch is. I mean, seriously? God. Oh, man, I'd love... Ah, oh, man, I wish I could see down that hole there. Can you imagine? Imagine we in, installed these stairs. Now, we could have dug down and got these stairs and brought them up and rebuilt them. Can't put nothing past these swine. Eagle, eagle, eagle represents the phoenix. They love the phoenix now. They're big phoenix fans. 
you see phoenixes throughout history look at that how they got these columns up here that's interesting and then they got fake column design that's strange but that'd, that'd be a good building to go get into and go see what's going on you got to wonder if that sucker goes down or went down at one time or something that is really weird looking big old arches back there See this is, see this is the I, I think the, the the main wind catching. This is the input and this is the output here. Look in the wind catchers. Very interesting stuff. This is probably a glass like a a, a skylight glass. You know. I don't. I can't. Remember. Man, I tell you what. I can't honestly say if that is the building we looked at earlier. Or if it's a different building. I can't remember where that building was. I don't remember being in Detroit, Michigan. But it sure as hell looked like that building. But then again, there's differences. I don't know. My memory ain't remembering right. I have to go back and look. I don't know. Duluth, Minnesota, 1907. Up the Incline Railway from Superior Street. So we got another vernacular. Um, these were very popular at one time. Incline Saloon, Lyceum, like, that's not Lyceum, I don't know what that says, like you, uh, I don't know, Saloon, Saloon, I don't know, Duluth Beer, okay, anyways, moving on. Furnished rooms, 25 cents, 50 cents, dollar something. <laughs> Warning, walking on this railway is positively forbidden. It is dangerous. Okay. There's a coal hole cover there. That's CIA right there. That's boss man right there. And look how they built this right here on this hill. That's just so weird. I don't know. What a weird way to travel. I know it's so strange. I mean, this made sense at one time. I don't know. Just interesting. Hotel Bancroft, Worcester, Massachusetts between 1913-1920. And, I mean, seriously, look at the horse shit they've built here. They don't. They don't even know what to do here. <laughs> They're ridiculous. Well, let's put some stairs down here, and then put the sidewalk down over the stairs, and you know, and we'll put a hole over here for I don't know change. <laughs> we'll put a we'll put a wishing well down there. <laughs> Get rid of these blood flood winders, man. Scrub cartouche. Venetian wavy thingies. That's prism glass right there. And I believe that's part of the air conditioning system right there. Those arch windows. Scrub cartouches. Such detail, it's just amazing. Every building's just something else. I just unbelievable. There's these. I think they're called. I'm trying to remember. Go from memory. Coins. Spell with a Q. I believe that is technology right there. I 
And that one's been vanilla skied right there in, to an extent. See that this is the original negative, this grayish area. See how it's cut off? Could be the Sub Rosa right there. Scrub Cartouche, Taurus Field. Pavement light, more pavement light here. This is a square pavement light. These had a concrete, that's a coal hole cover there. That's a trap door that opens up. Arc light there. Very dark picture. Huh. Okay. Louisville, Kentucky, 1907. Seelbach Hotel. Okay. There's Fred. Fred is, uh, in case you didn't know or weren't aware, weren't in the know, is the horse that built America. Yep. That's true. And that's pavement light right there. Hard to tell, but that is. That's pavement light. And there is a ghost horse right there. That's cool. Fashion, man. Good grief. Look at that. Purdy. Who's got the money to be building like this? I mean, seriously. The ornateness is just absolutely scrubbed cartouche. That reminds me of a fascist. I don't know if it is, but it, it reminds me of that. We would have definitely added the horseshit signage. We love our horseshit signage. Anything to cover up the building and make it look ugly, make it more look like we built it, we would do that. Because, well, we stole these buildings, and we didn't want people to know that we had scrubbed cartouches, and then we took off whatever designs were on the cartouches in order to cover up what we had done. And we don't know what we've done. We don't know what happened. I'm sure whatever it was was very bad. Big old ether lights. Man. I don't know what that doodad is right there. I suspect to be in some sort of underground thing right there. Little mud flood windows there. Check out that contraption. Talk about like leveling the ground. My flood looking windows there. That's boss man there. Look at those windows. Man, oh man, oh man. Arc light. God almighty. Just wait. more pavement light here. Pavement light was everywhere. It was all the rage. Oh, man. Lots of keystones on this one. All right. New York, 1903, Detroit Photographic Company, 229 Fifth Avenue. And this block is uh, destined for demolition. So, and this is the, I believe, isn't this it? 229. Yes. Detroit Photographic Company. Detroit Photographic Company was a photographic company that was based out of, where else? Detroit. And they had a train and they had a full uh, setup of dark room and their equipment on this train. And what they would do is they would go around the country on the train and they were the ones that took many, many of these photographs that I show. Um, not all, but many of them. And they would then take them and sell them as postcards. 
they would colorize them and they would sell them as postcards there's a uh, Fred he's he's on the job he's doing hoity toity work today but they uh, are the ones that took a lot of these photographs and um you know they have a flat earth asterisk on their window here this is a New York office uh, ventilation into the underground there there's probably pavement like that they're standing on right there and that is pavement like in stairs ventilation into the underground ventilation there these are coal hole covers here mud flood winders look how it dips down there got something going under the stairs there got a barber pole there's probably a stair there to get down to the barber why they put the barbers underground I, I just won't I, I can't figure out it makes no sense to me why are you gonna go underground to get your hair cut these doors right here these two pieces right here are something we added um, they because the doors were too big so they see the door is this big right and then you come out here and, and they they made it so that you could have two entrances so you could you wouldn't let all the the, the cold air in you know there's a flat earth asterisk right there flat earth asterisk stands for it's uh it, it stands for the uh flat earth um ether antenna big old coppola probably a wind catching system there arch windows jeez look at that horse shit that's just falling right off we definitely designed that ether antennas look at that my goodness jeez steaks and chops <laughs> cures yeah okay they selling them some snake oil ginger ale <laughs> the safest summer drink it looks like a beagle oh beagles rule look at that man that's a big plate glass window right there brickwork there something's been removed definitely that's odd right there man at their antennas up there that's a very ornate fire escape <laughs> removal cell the hell's a removal cell I don't know it's like going out of business these are prism glass right here they're in the transoms this is called a transom right here these pieces above the doorways with glass in them are called transoms it's so interesting all the things that you learn researching this this topic of mud flood and tartaria and the old world and you know the 19th century it, it just it's just amazing all the different things that you learn that are just not taught in school because they don't want you to learn anything no 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 well he's just gushing that down 
He ain't playing. He, he He's had a bad day. More coal hole covers there. That's probably pavement light up there. Look at all these uh, manhole covers. They got a crap load of stuff going on down in the ground. These are probably all coal hole covers, but kind of hard to tell. New York, 1905 St. Patrick's Cathedral on Fifth Avenue. And I'm just immediately drawn to the, you know, the area below ground level there. And look at the wrought ironwork. Jeez, where do you get that? I mean, seriously? Who's pinching the penny to get that out? I don't even know. Look at that detail up there. I, you know, I, I, I this uh, went to be sold, most desirable property. All right. Our one is better. You know, I want to show this picture because you know, it, it, it this isn't, this isn't uh, uh, old world European, you know, style looking church. I mean, it, this, this is straight out of, you know. Europe <laughs> I mean they got stuff just as good here as they got in Europe I mean look at that rose window I mean that's just as good as anything they say came from here I mean look at the size of that freaking door what is the purpose of a door that is 40 foot tall I mean seriously it, that there there's no rhyme or reason that you need to build like this who the hell is, how much money are y'all putting in a damn offering plate that justifies the building of something like this I mean look at that rose window that thing is incredible and then there's rose windows all over this thing this ain't no church y'all this ain't built to the glory the glorify god or nothing this is you go here when you got cancer okay and you walked up in here and you you know you paid the man whatever and they said okay stand here or sit here and next thing you know they did something in these buildings and your ass was healed i mean you walked out doing a damn river dance because you were healed new york 1906 john wanamaker store broadway and 10th street just saying there's boss man he's right there that's pavement light he's standing on pavement light garden he that's that's uh penis cat law dog right there and metropolitan got us a trolley and i think yep yeah there's fred he's right there oh oh read the new york american no i won't do it just because you want me to choose what i want to read what i want to read is about these payment lot y'all got in here all this right here and this big ass contraption door thingy that goes down in the underground see the underground right there there's the steps as this go down because you go down in the underground you got trap doors right here you got pavement light right here you got more trapeze doors right there you got your ladders lean you got your archy windows archy windows everywhere get your arch windows Arch windows right here. Arch windows for sale. And if you need arch windows, we got them. I mean, we got them right here for you if you need them. I mean, look at the freaking store windows. What the heck y'all dressing, baby dolls? I mean, who the hell dresses your children like that? I mean, you know, we come up with horse shit like this. This is our horse shit right here. These little boxes right here. We did that. Yeah. And yes, they're pretty. Yes, they're nice. And yes, they're probably designed to go with the building. Yes, 
We did that though. We can handle something like that. That's that's very doable. Coal hole covers those three right there. Big ass octagon shaped ones. Interesting. And going up, going up, going up, going up. Hamburger Brothers. <laughs> okay. Gosh, that's a lot of arches. Look at the glass, the rounded glass. I mean, seriously, who is making this? Some kind of horseshit pipe we added. We love adding pipes. Man, okay. Moving on. New York, 1908, R.H. Macy and Company, Herald Square, Broadway, and 34th Street. So, I guess this is Macy's. For getting ready for the Macy's parade. I do believe. Got some cover up going over over there. Let me get back up here. Let me see what's going on here. There's Fred. Fred is uh, you know the horse that built America. And the end of the world is nice, is what the sign says, I imagine. And that's just a whole bunch of pavement light. Ladies in uniform, boss man. I mean, everybody's dolled up to the nines. I mean, seriously. Where are y'all going? Pearls, rubies, diamonds. Defy detection. Okay. What does that mean? There's some of those weird balls. What's up with them balls? That is a lot of pavement light there. Crappy awnings. We definitely installed those. Something going on right there. I can't tell what that is. Big old anther antenna, man. They put their antenna high in there trying to catch the other. Check out these statues up here. Clock, maybe? Jeez. Paul Jones, pure rye. And there's that dripping fruit stuff. That's a lot of brick right there. That's weird. It looks print. interestingly plain. I don't know. That's interesting. Look at the detail there. It kind of looks like a Phoenician ship. Like the, I don't know. Scrub cartouches, arched windows, go ether lights, ether antennas, Phoenician lady right there, Phoenician waves. What an, just an incredible world. Yeah, it's got a Phoenician lady on there. That I think that's a ship. It looks like a ship. I don't know. Unscrubbed cartouches, I'd say, with a star on it. Isn't the Macy symbol a star? I do believe it is. And there's a star there. I think the Macy symbol is a star. Have to wonder if the star was on the building already. Three twins. Okay. I that, <laughs> I, I got to tell a story. One, I was I was touring um, Ohio, <laughs> doing shows in Ohio one time, and we. 
they we had to stop it we we were staying in this hotel i forget what city. we did all every city in ohio I, and but we went to this one city and i pulled up to the the hotel to and I, I went to check in the hotel and i'm i'm walking in and i, I saw a pair of twins and i i thought wow that's cool you don't you know you don't see twins very much and then i saw another pair and then i saw another pair and then i saw another pair and it just kept coming and i'd i was seeing girl twins and uh triplets and uh I, i've seen boy twins and young twins and old twins and young <laughs> teenage twins and midget twins i'm seeing twins man i thought i was tripping okay <laughs> i'm walking through this hotel and all i see is twins I, I'm, I'm talking hundreds <laughs> i don't even know and i'm tripping out and so I go to check in this hotel. I said, well, can I ask a question? Well, is, are y'all getting overrun by twins or something? And the guy laughed and he said, we're, it's, we're having a, tw a twins convention. <laughs> and it was, I don't know how many thousands of twins they had there, but man, I've never in my life seen so many twins in one place. Uh, that was just very strange i i had a quite a few strange <laughs> strange times like that another time i woke up in uh new um new orleans and i went downstairs to get breakfast at the at the uh the, the restaurant and the and i kept seeing people dressed as star trek Star Trek costumes. I'm like, what the hell? I mean, first thing I had no coffee or nothing. I'm, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Because I came in late at late at night, and it was it was actually my first time going to going to New Orleans. And I'm walking through there, I keep seeing all these Trekkies. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And it was a Trekkie convention. You probably already figured that out. But it, my first thing in the morning, I ain't had my coffee. I'd hey. I couldn't figure it out, man. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Anyways, Star Wars rules. Star Trek rules. Uh, New York, 1910. Pell Street, Chinatown. Mon Lei Wan. A restaurant that billed itself as the Chinese Delmonico. Okay. Figured in the Tong Wars of the earliest 20th century. Okay, I don't know my history on that, so I'm going to tip my hat somebody that does, I don't know. And got mud flood hole going down there, got a dog, dogs are rare at that time. It does seem, got another mud flood hole right there. There's Fred, Fred is the horse that built America. In case you didn't know, you're now informed. And there's a, um, that could be, yeah, that, that's an eight point asterisk. You got your, your, your horizontal, your vertical, and your X. So there's your eight point asterisk. Yeah, checking us out. Here we're looking at your place you gonna say about it nothing whole lot of nothing y'all are weird looking oh well i mean there this is straight up hooligan territory i mean look look at the construction here this is how you get around a mud flood building right here you build horse shit like this this is grade a this is how poor folk did it okay this is, this is, you see, you've seen plenty of times how the rich folk did it. You know, the hoity-toity, the high on hogs, you know, the ones that could afford real stair work. This must be that restaurant they're talking about. A lot of weird stuff going on there. I can't even describe none of that. Chinese Delmonico. 
Huh. Tai Chong Long and Company. Alrighty. Ooh, creepy ghost girl. Ooh. Nope, don't do ghost girls. Okay, scrub cartouche there. And I have my in my thinking right now, and I still have lots more research to do on this. I'm you know, I've got a lot of research I'm doing right now. Well, one thing I'm looking at is the idea that the Chinese immigrants, the laborers, were the ones that were brought in to do the um, cover-up of the mud flood. That they're the ones that came in and repaired and fixed and covered over. And they went from city to city. And that's why there's Chinatowns everywhere. And I think they ended up in uh, San Francisco. That's where the, the end of the line was. And then they came up with this horseshit narrative that they built the railroads. Because if you do this research long enough, you'll realize that the railroads were already here. So if the railroads were already here, and yet the Chinese laborers were supposedly the ones that built them, well, then you know the Chinese laborers weren't building the railroads, so what were they doing? Well, I think they were covering up the mud flood. Just my thoughts at this moment. Philadelphia circa 1900, Broad Street Station of the Pennsylvania Railroad. Oh, and by the way, I went back and looked at that photograph of the post office, and that was in Buffalo, New York, and the second one was in, I think, New York or something. Or uh, Anyway, no, Detroit. First one was in Buffalo, New York. second one was in Detroit. And so they were different post offices, although they did look similar in structure, outer structure. They were very different. Anyways, you'll go back and look at the, at the pictures, uh, which are in the description, as always. Um, you can see for yourself there are different buildings i was just making sure i didn't put a you know same building in the in this in a show i try not to do that so you don't have you know so you can see different pictures but it gets confusing there's a lot of pictures uh that, damn look at that good grief look at that ether antenna man you can put no flag on that billy bob and ether antennas man Look at that. Crazy. Man. Interesting how those are done. Kind of a Moorish style there. What in the hell is that? What the? What is that right there? Uh, what is that thing? I don't know. Leave in the comments what you think that is, because I don't know. That That is very suspect of being something. I don't know. There's Fred. Fred is the horse that built this place. Oh, well, I like these pictures you can see behind things. Interesting. There's a portal. Ball thingy. Man, this thing just keeps going. Damn, it just keeps going up. Phoenician lady up there on the right. Phoenician shells. Look at this dude just hanging out on top of a building. This this picture has been vanilla skied. Show enough. Man, this thing just dripping. That building is crazy. That's what my thinking up here. There's one. That, there's those ball thingies. There's, something's up with those balls. That's some sort of technology. Penis cap wearing law dog. I think we added that porch. I don't know. I don't think that's original. Just me thinking. Look at that, man. Man, uh, uh we didn't build this. No, 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 no. You know, it's real simple once you look at the size of that damn thing. I just, 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 just think it's just. That's a freaking monster. This is supposed to be a train station, right? A train station to pull a train into. 
What do you need all this shit for? We're going to have a hotel up top? I mean, what, what is this? What is all this? I mean, is it a freaking... Uh, did they put an insane asylum with the, the railroad? I'm assuming this is a wind catcher of some sort. I do... I'm guessing there's a clock. Clocks are expensive. At their antenna, at their fencing. Just pure ins architectural insanity. Look at that. I mean, seriously? Who is going to build like this in this time frame? Okay. Even today in our time frame, if you asked somebody to build that architect, I mean, they would literally laugh at you. you you'd have to leave the building because you had been laughed out of the building they, they would think you were quackers they're like we, we, we need security security 13th floor for nut job nut job we need to get rid of he, he wants to build a big ass Tartarian building and uh well yeah <laughs> he's a quackers Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 1908, General Market, Diamond Square. I right. let's see what we got going. Ladies in uniform. And I call these ladies in uniform, even though they are can be quite different. That they if you pay attention, they're all very similar in a way. In the way the dresses are, in the way the shirts are, in the way the hats are, the way the hair is, the umbrellas. It's a freaking uniform. It's just like with the men. You know, pants, coat, shirt, tie, hat, bowler hat, top hat. You know, it's all a little different, but all the same at the same time. Oh man, look at that brickwork. Poor hole porthole porthole they're part of the air conditioning system we would have added that horseshit right there that exterior doorway yeah, excuse me and got an ether antenna there in case you ain't never seen one of those y'all probably ain't never seen one of those i believe these are wind catchers right here ether antennas ladder lean right there in case you need a ladder lean And got you a clock. Clocks are expensive. Another uh, wind catcher here. Pyramid. Ether antenna up top. I like to look at the tracks. See how the, the lady. Look at these seats. See how similar the ladies outfits are. Look at the men similar outfits okay similar 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 when you look around around today everybody has a lot of difference to them post office saginaw michigan between 1900 and 1920 that is a post office to drop letters off that is all you need right there a letterbox and that is a lady in uniform i mean how perfect is she absolutely perfect her shoes are perfect her dress it's perfect her gloves they're perfect her jacket absolutely perfect her blouse perfect her hair perfect her hat perfect her look perfect perfect 2019 and 1920 absolutely perfection and she's straight out of a, a fashion magazine today. Seriously? Who's washing these clothes? Who's making these clothes? Who's Who's got you know money to, to really flaunt that? Who's got the money to move the mud out of the way? Why didn't y'all move the mud? I mean, you, you, you left it there just to, just to laugh in our face. That's what you did. You laughed in our face. And there's Fred. Fred's back there working because he's Horse Build America. That's Boss Man, the lady in uniform. Horseshit stairs we built. In case you need to see something we built. Because I know that 
Mr. Contractor had a little work here and there. I mean, Winkle put him down and he ain't got no work. He got some work now. He got work covering up these winters, these buffalo winters. Ooh, I wonder what that says. Why do they have signs in the mud flood holes? Oh, I wish I could read that sign. They have signs in the mud flood holes. That's interesting. That is a freaking post office. Somebody designated this thing and it scrubbed cartouches as a post office. Seriously? What the hell does this got to do with mail? It's got wind catching system. See that wind catching system. You know, you got your input and your output. I mean, seriously? Looks like a, um, that, I think, I think that's an eagle, which would be a, um, phoenix. And that looks like a griffin, that one too. So that would be a Tartarian griffin. Ether antenna. I mean, you know, what part of that ain't a flagpole don't you understand? I mean, seriously. Well, I see you got a flagpole on that one. You know, we got to, you know, run something up this other antenna to make people not understand. But see, you can see the mud. Why would you think about this for a second? Why would you build this big ass, beautiful, elaborate building and then build windows below ground that obviously go into the ground and then bring in dirt and cover up a lawn that then has to be angled? and sloped off and then you have to put big ass sign keep off grass because you don't want people walking on it you certainly don't want people thinking about that that big ass mound of mud right there it's just that dog don't hunt salem massachusetts circa 1910 boston's boston and main railroad depot riley plaza and we got there's Fred's girlfriend right there. Ain't she cute? She's adorable, ain't she? She's a real cutie. And Fred's over here, workhorse in it. Poor Fred. That's why they had to tow him. He got work. He got work too hard. Oh you. Oh you back. I mean, they got a train station that's basically a castle. So castles are train stations. We got what well, castles are figured out now. How about that? You better move, fella. You better get run over by that choo-choo. Believe trains are old world. And I, I am not convinced. I ain't done any research on this. I just something that's been in the back of my head. I just don't. You know. You know how they were all, run by steam and run by coal. I, I am wondering if there was some order other technology that those things were run on and that we came up with the idea of running on steam and coal or something or I don't know. I'm just talking out the other end right the second, but that's an arc light, arch winders. Look at the brickwork, man. That is that is cool. That's a cool photograph. That's some funky design work right there in that stone right there. Looks like boss man right there. Poor fella, he looked like he had a hard day. Smoke. Smoke them if you got them. Anyways. Washington Monument, Baltimore, 1902. And we got some uh, orphan children here, I bet. Got a fountain. Fountains are old world. George Washington by the state of Maryland. Oh, look at this thing. I 
That's ridiculous. What in the world? That's I an mean, that's obelisk. I mean, in way, but I mean, that, you know, it, it also, if you think about it, it kind of just looks like a smokestack, you know, that's probably not a smokestack. It, I don't know. Look at that steeple. My goodness. Big old rose window back there. Alrighty. Washington, D.C., 1910 Pennsylvania Avenue, west from the old post office. Okay. There's Fred. Fred is the horse that built America. There's some of his cousins. There's Fred's girlfriend right there. She works hard, too. What a world. So big. We would have added these stairs. Look at the windows going underground right there. A lot of Chinese restaurants back then. You know, you know we have a lot of Chinese restaurants today. We we all know that, but back then they were just as you know around. They were just as popular back then. Mud flood underground right there. Got crates coming in with stuff. There's probably pavement light right there. I mean, this is how they move stuff around right here. Look at that. This is how they built America, they say. The horses. Pavement light right there. Pavement light right there. There's a touring car. They would ride people around and, and show them these cities. I think there's a little something to that. Look at that underground area right there. More mud flood windows right there. More mud flood windows. Pavement light right there. Unbelievable. Oh, we look at that. Portals all over across the thing. See how they're open? It's part of the air conditioning system. Big old ether antenna up there. That would probably be part of the, the wind catching system right there. Jeez. That's a heck of a building. That's cool right there. That looks like a lion right there. Postal telegraph. Another porthole. Big old G, huh? I wonder if that's Mason's. I don't know. Probably not. Ingles. Look at that. Something going on there. Okay. Alrighty, and I, I through this picture in here um this is a, a photoshopped image and um so you can tell that this was a photograph of some uh chinese folk look how kind that looks i don't know anyways um just beautiful photographs uh, i mean just wow but this is photograph and this is something I, I'm not exactly sure. This is some some photo nut is going to tell me how they do this. It's how they I understand how they get it white to do the the vanilla sky, but I want to know how they get it black. And I'm, I'm I think my best guess at this point is paint. And if you look right there, it, to, to me it looks like a paint stroke. 
but I'm not sure. But see, this is photoshopping. See how that's doing? Now see, they can take that image right there and they, they can black that out, okay? And then they can take a photograph of this, okay? And then they can take this and put it somewhere else. Okay, and they'll, they'll lose all this. Okay, they'll, they'll insert this here. It's like, imagine the black, to, imagine looking at from today's technology where the black would be green screen, okay? And then this is over superimposed over onto the black. Okay, that's kind of the, what you're looking at. Even though it's not what it is, this is, I believe, painted black. But they would take this image and, and superimpose it onto another image and make it look like there's a little Chinese girl. I think that's a girl. I don't know. Is that a girl or a boy? That could be a boy. Hell, I don't know. How do you know? I don't know. That could be a boy because of the hair. I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, that that's that's uh, photoshopping in 1901. And here is some more. This is Troy, New York Public Library between 1890 and 1906. And here's some more evidence of photoshopping that we'll get into. Let's look at the building first. Creepy girl. Moving on. And, I mean, seriously, we're going to build windows that are on ground level. And then we're going to put humongous iron grates over the windows. Because we don't want you to get in. Why don't you just not put a freaking window there? I'm just saying. Maybe a little easier. Y'all need to do some weeding. I mean, seriously. Check that out. I bet you that's part of a wind catching system right there. Yep. I do believe. Look at, this. Look at those, man. Those are cool. Okay, we're just looking at the building right there. So we would have pounded this wording in there. Look at the detail on that. Oh my goodness. Oh. Gracious eagle, which would be a phoenix. Possibly a sub rosa there. Gee whiz. Could be a green man right there. Oh, look at that scary little fella. Another eagle, so that'd be a phoenix. Scrub cartouche there. Maybe a laurel leaf of control. Green man right there. Look at that stained glass. Man, oh man. Could be a lion right there. Hard to tell. Very hard to tell. Wow, that just is. Mr. Contractor, like a quote on that, please. Had that on my desk by morning. Thank you. And, you know, those are pretty. Big ass arch windows. Could be a sub rosa there, maybe. Goes back in there. Man, what a building. Wow, look at the detail. God. Could be a. It might look like a pine cone there, which would be represent the penal gland. If it is a pine cone. I don't know. It's kind of pine cunning looking but I'm not sure those are beautiful very beautiful okay so let's look at the uh, photoshopping we have a electrical line here that they've scratched out going up what's interesting is you got that painted black business here I'm not sure if that's how they did it, but that's the best thing I've come up with so far. And they've painted something out of this area here. See, this is Vanilla Sky. This white, that's just scratched off. They've done a terrible job of it right there. They've actually 
you know, messed up and hit that. But why did they do this? This is really weird. What is that line going to? I thought that was just very strange. Mud flood winters down here. More mud flood winters. Creepy kid or something. Ghost kid or something. Arch winters. But uh, yeah, there's you know more. I'm finding more and more of these uh, photoshopped images. Um, which you know I'm not exactly sure why they're doing them. Um, I can't speculate too much on that, but uh, you know it, it's interesting to see how they did it and um, to know that they did do it, and and um, it's just another you know piece of evidence for our uh, evidence bags. So, anyways, um, really cool stuff, and I appreciate you hanging out with me. And this bigs out. Say wolf again! Say wolf again! I've got one that can see. This is my kung fu, and it is strong. See you later!